Welcome back to another edition of Jared Stumbles Through. And you know, when life gets you down, you have to pick yourself back up and play games that have a black bottom on them, aka PS1 games. Let's take a journey back to 1996, I want to say, maybe 97. Either way, almost 20 years ago, back when games had a rating called K to A, the kids to adults rating. You youngins today, you may not remember that one. That was the predecessor to the E rating, you know, back when the ESRB was, was, was fairly infantile in its in its days. Let's go back to the days when JRPGs were, for the most part, very very fantasy like in their in their stories. Nothing about like young teenagers running amok. Nothing like nothing like that. Let's go back to the days when. If you want to bring a game from Japan over to the United States, you might do some tweaking to it. Specifically, changing names, changing the way people talk, all that sort of stuff. Let's talk about Revelations Persona. And to do that, we're going to dive right into the game. As long as this works. <laughs> ah. It's a great sound to hear. So this game did come out in December of 96, apparently, according to Wikipedia, in the States, so... I was right on one front. Yeah. Oh. Ah, nineteen ninety six graphics. What a treat. <laughs> Of course, my graphics is like, hey, we made this butterfly and put it against these screenshots. <laughs> That's the high school. Four little hiccups here. That's what happens when you play on disc. And then blocks fall over. Technical difficulties. How are you? In order to alleviate that, we're gonna quit back out, go back in. Da 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 da. Might have to clean the disc. 
Great start. Great start. This is why Atlas is giving me copyright strikes, because of just stuff like this, obviously. <laughs> All right, take two. Now loading. Skip through all these uh, opening cutscenes and all that jazz. There we go. We got a title screen. Revelation Persona. Copyright 1996. Check those memory cards. Since we don't have any save data. There is no memory card. That's... Well, that doesn't... That's not good. <laughs> Hopefully it allows us to save. So... So you may remember, or if you've paid attention to like what games I've played on this channel so far, that I played the original, or the, the PSP re remake of this game, which was more in line with the Japanese version. So it retained, like, the original Japanese names and the dialogue and all that jazz. This, however, just changes everything, essentially. So here we have Mark, who has been completely reskinned to be African-American. Mark is originally Masao Inaba. And we're going to play the Persona game. Mark is a troublemaker who gets into mischief. He doesn't get along with Nate. Nate is, uh, is K. K Nanjo. <laughs> Brad is brown. Which his character portrait is still the same. Brad demands a lot of attention. He's conceited and very irresponsible. Oh man, we get dinner at Peace Diners? Sweet. Elena is is Yuka, I say, which is a, w a weird choice of naming for an English version of this game because I've only ever met like one Elena. Elena is a troublemaker and total airhead. She's very irresponsible. Ellen is Eriko, Eriko, Kirishima. Ellen studied in Europe and came back to America. Oh my god, actually, I didn't realize that they actually thought that they could get away with making this into America with beauty and knowledge. Wow. Fuck, dude. <laughs> these, uh... These localizers were really going for something here. JCK. They, they, I think they changed his hair color in this version. He's number one. Nate is the heir to the Trinity Family Trust. He's very bossy. Trinity Family Trust. What the? It's gonna. This is gonna be weird. And then Yuki is. They literally just took off two letters of her name. She's Yukino. Yuki, a very trustworthy and responsible girl whom many students respect and trust. That's a weird choice. Also, they... Yeah, I'm pretty sure they changed the hair color, hair color of the protagonist as well. I don't, I don't think he had red hair. Oh, who are we going to bet on? Are we going to bet on Mark or Brad? Let's bet on Brad. What's up with everyone? Let's play a Persona game. So this is actually fairly... Reminiscent to how the PSP game actually starts. They play the Persona game, and that's how they call for Persona. And basically, it's the same thing. 
Even if all this is Americanized and whatnot. Remember, guys, we're in America. Maybe this game takes place in the same universe that the Ace Attorney games take place in. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's try it again. He didn't try hard enough. He didn't say persona enough. Oh man, shut the heck up. Remember kids, remember guys, this is like, this is rated K to A. Like this is the E to everyone rating, which is super strange for a Persona game, isn't it? Considering now they're both like three and four rated M. I think two was teen here. Uh-oh, ghost. G -g 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 ghost Don't get spooked. Someone's casting Zeo. Ah, ah, ah. And we're all dead. Game over. Let's hope this doesn't freeze again, because that would be a real big bummer. Welcome. My name is Philemon. Always call him Philemon. I live between the world of consciousness and unconsciousness. So tell me, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? I bet this is going to be where we put our name in. So, usually I like to be canonical with names, but... Our main protagonist here doesn't necessarily have a canon name, and like the canon or like the names that like he's had is like split up between a drama CD, a novel, and a manga. So you know what we're gonna do? Hi, I'm Jared. <laughs> hey, this is set in America. It makes sense. Okay. Yeah.